So I heard from Aubrey that there was a little bit of a prank war going on. Is that true? Yes. And she said definitely. that you won. I mean, I don't. Is she easy to scare? Is that the um, thing you think? Well, yeah. Uh, she's not super easy to scare, but she was relatively easy to scare. I've had, I've had harder people to scare. For sure. uh, what, what were the levels? What 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 happened? What do we take uh, us through it? It wasn't just between Aubrey and I. Um, Aubrey and I actually teamed up on Brian Tyree Henry. Uh, we microwave fish in his trailer, and we gave him a chocolate cake with hot sauce. Um, but between Aubrey and I, it was mostly just scares. Like I would wait in her trailer and scare her once she got in, um, and then she waited in my car for like an hour and a half to scare me. Um, and it didn't work super well, but it was it was a great attempt. It's it's all on video. Oh my yeah. god! So was she just sweating in there by that point? It was just hot. Well, she, was it hot? I would I would think so. She was under a blanket the entire time. So. Maybe she just thought it, forgot about it, and fell asleep. Maybe. <laughs> no, I mean, I would feel, feel a lot better about myself if that was true. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about uh, the character itself. So, you know, what's it like to be um, this boy who has hopes and dreams of having an amazing doll? Right. They kind of go the other way, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, Andy's really introverted and insecure, so he doesn't really have very many friends. He's kind of a lonely kid. Uh, so when he gets Chucky, um, that's kind of his first friend. So there's a really great emotional bond that Andy struggles with as he has to do certain things to get, to try and get rid of Chucky. Um, so it was, a, it was a really nuanced role and a very nuanced um, relationship between the two of them that was really fun to portray. What was your favorite part of the shoot? Like when you show up that one day, you're like, this is my favorite day of the shoot. Oh, uh, there were so many fun stunts I can't talk about, yeah. but they were fun. Um, so any of the stunts and the uh, the final sequence was also really fun to shoot. Now, what's, if you had to give tips on how to fight a doll, something that big, what's, what are your tips for, for fighting a doll? Well, it depends on whether or not it's, you know, possessed or technology. <laughs> um, but Let's maybe say possessed. Like, possessed? Yeah. Just run from it. I mean, its legs are kind of tiny. You can probably get away. Just book a flight to another city. I just, just for, hope he never comes back. That's, your, that's how people die, because they always forget about their problems. I mean, I guess, yeah. Well, if he shows up, you can probably outrun him every time you see him. Yeah. Who is doing the voice um, on set for you? Because now we heard Mark Hamill's going to be doing the voice, of course, the voice of Joker. So who um, did the voice on the set for you guys? He wasn't actually an actor. I feel horrible because I don't remember his name, but he was one of the guys who helped create the doll. But he did, gr he did a great job. Uh, definitely helped me out. And then uh, what's the one thing that you want, like if you told your friends about, how do you explain your part to them? How do you say, oh man, you, gotta, you guys got to wait for this. I'm so, you know, what is that one thing you tell them? I don't know. The, the whole film is filled with moments like that. I don't think I could really just pick one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't have that many friends to tell about. I mostly just tell my siblings, but they could just read the script if they wanted to. So.